For decades, powerful men like Haman were allowed to get away with their crimes. But even today, Tom O'Carroll argues he and other pedophiles should be allowed to have sex with children. You keep saying, by the way, it's sex with children. It's not sex with children. It's sex, most people think, is sexual intercourse, penis in vagina, and um, a, a guy banging away until he gets orgasm. That's not what I mean by sex with children. What are you talking and about? I don't, I, don't think, I don't think we should talk in this sort of um, emotive fashion about okay, sex well, with children. Wh what is a less emotive term? Erotic contact with children. And what would that involve? Well, it might involve a, a t a touching or a masturbation. In the warped view of the pedophile information exchange, the only harm caused by an adult having sex with a child occurs later, when the child is supposedly made to feel guilty about it. If they were traumatised, they wouldn't have gone along. You see, that, that's that... another lie that pedophiles spin. They, is... tell, they, they say that the kids aren't traumatised. And no, 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 me, I, I, no, wait, wait a moment. Believe me, they are traumatised, uh, Tom. Yes, but many years later, as a result well, of being told... Uh, why well, it matters? Because they would not have been traumatised, but for being told that they had been abused. So this is the point. You'd say that it's not the paedophile that's caused the abuse, it's the responsible authorities like the police yes, and their parents. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So you don't accept that having sex with a child can cause any kind of... Well, let me error. tell you, we're getting peculiarly hysterical. Many years later, when people are told that they have been abused and it keeps being rammed into them from the media all the time, then that is the feeling they, become to, they come to get. They, think, they come to think, I must be traumatised because people keep telling me so. Okay, That's well, how it happened. Can I put to you, there's something in your book. Mm -hmm. There's a section in your book where you describe the scenario of a little girl sitting on a man's knee. Yes. And he, you, describe approvingly how sexual relations with that little girl can be, quote, negotiated mm -hmm. by hints yeah. and signals, mm -hmm. such as complimenting her on her knickers yeah. and yeah. testing her response. Yeah. And what would be the adequate response from that little girl, Tom? Enthusiasm. What would that constitute? How would the little girl show you enthusiasm for you wanting to have sex with her? Let's move away from... No, no, no. Let's stick to this issue. Well, all right. Let's, let's, let's so stick give, with the give issue, me, but let me, address, let me address it in my okay. own way. The little girl sitting on your knee, and you've just told her, I like your knickers. Let me address what, it what in my own way. What does that little girl do to indicate that she's willing to consent to have sex with you, Tom? How does somebody indicate willingness to have consent to anything? A little girl cannot possibly be a consenting partner in that kind of power relationship. She's sitting on your knee, for God's sake. Yes, You're she can. You're an adult. Yes, she can. You use the term enthusiasm. What does that little girl do to indicate that she's enthusiastic? I, 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 think, I think that we're going round and round in circles. No, what, what, what is the answer? We're, we're going round and round in circles. I've given you my answer multiple times, so I'll, I'll, I'll finish there. Which is okay. a non-answer. You just can't answer. Well, you think it's a non-answer. I think it's an answer. All right. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs>